and Lois. These are just my first impressions on this series. The first five episodes has dropped, so now I guess I can give my little short thoughts here. Now before I get into this, let me just say that I am a fan of the Arrowverse, but lately with the cancellation of Supergirl and also with this show being announced, I was not looking forward to this whatsoever. I thought a Superman Lois show was a horrible idea and I was basically one of those people who was pessimistic. Even from the trailers, I thought the trailers looked fine, but it didn't really do much for me. And this is coming from a Superman fan. I love the character Superman. He's a symbol of hope. He's a symbol of awesomeness. And going into this, I was excited, but very, very nervous. But let's just go into the simple plot of this. Superman and Lois Lane, they face one of their greatest challenges, which is dealing with being parents in the society of today. So complicating of the job between raising two boys, they worry about their sons, Jonathan and Jordan, could inherit their superpowers as they grow older. So they return to Smallville to handle some family business. And they reunite with some friends, but there is Samuel Lane. He's looking for Superman to vanquish a villain or save the day at a moment's notice. And I will have to say, my initial first impressions was I was very mixed on it. I didn't hate it, the pilot, but I didn't love the pilot. There were a few things that concerned me, but watching all five episodes, the first five episodes, because it returns back in May, I am pleasantly surprised. I really like this show. Is it better than Supergirl? No. Is it better than Flash? No, of course not. Is it better than Arrow or Legends of Tomorrow? No, but I can simply say with a straight face in this voiceover that this is a lot better than Batwoman, than Gotham, even though it's not part of the Arrowverse. And I can say this is a thousand times better than Stargirl, even though I do not hate Stargirl, but I feel like this is more up my alley. This definitely definitely lived up to my expectations. D First of all, I have to say the big thing here Tyler Hotchlin and Elizabeth Tullock as Clark Kent and Lois Lane. I love their chemistry here. I thought Tyler Hoslin was okay with his portrayal of Superman. I haven't been too impressed with him at first, but here, he get his own show. It's hard that there's no Supergirl here with him, but it's fine. But I have to say, he was great. I was really surprised at him and what he could do. You see that he is trying to be a father, but also still trying to be the symbol of hope saving the world. Elizabeth Tullock, I really loved. I, she was never my problem with this sh series, even when it was announced for the first five episodes. Because, again, I'm doing my first impressions based off those. I loved her. She was not only great, but she was also gorgeous in the role. But she, even she, has a lot of character depth to her. Seeing her friends, seeing her father come back, and then her responsibilities having to be a fa be a mother, and also play the wife of Clark Kent. So, and also she's still a journalist at. 
the Metropolis newspaper. So, I both thought Tyler Hoslin and Elizabeth Talk, they are the big standouts here. And they, I was afraid with these two other new characters who I'll get to, that they were gonna take over the show from, of course, Elizabeth Tullock and Tyler Hoslin, but these new two introduction characters, I will get to, but they didn't. They held their own, but it's really Superman and Lois' show. That's what we come to see. Of course, you have Dylan Walsh as Samuel Lane, who is trying to keep the world safe. Emmanuel Kirky, who we have not seen in anything for a long time, is Lana Lang. She was great. I loved Indy Navaretti as Sarah Cushing. I thought she was pretty good. I do remember her from clips of 13 Reasons Why the last season, which I still have not watched. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Valdis as Kyle Cushing, Lana's husband as Smallville's fire chief. I liked him. He is a brace of Percy. He carries a ship on his shoulder about living in a small town with grievances about large cities. And I like these other actors. I really liked them. I was very surprised at the fact that they actually get had new characters for a change now let's get into the two that I really had major concerns about and one of them I really love but the other I'm still having some grievances towards but let's get into of course Jordan Elas as Jonathan Kent he is the kind-hearted son and the modest son of Clark and Lois. I really loved him. I liked his character development. I liked his whole aspect where he has feelings for Lana Lane's daughter. I really liked that. I thought he was great. I really love where they took him. You can tell that he want, admires his dad and wants to be like him. And I really liked him. He was pretty cool. And this, he was really, really fantastic to watch. And I liked him. Unfortunately, the one I do have major grievance and still over is Alex Garfin as Jordan Kent. Now, this is the introspective son of Clark and Lois, and he enjoys being alone and has social anxiety. And I'm not going to say he's bad in the role, because he's not. I do think he has the potential to be better as when the series returns. But my big thing with him is that at times I feel like his whole social anxiety thing that they try to bring in with him didn't always work 100% as I feel like these first five episodes think it should have. But I will say that at times I liked his story. He's emo, he's dealing with anxiety, and he can't really deal with the fact of having powers. So I do very much have to give credit for that and to the writers for that. But also, let's just talk about how strong I think the storytelling is. I think the storytelling is very strong here for these first five episodes. You can tell that they had an idea and they're using it to the full advantage. And I really appreciated that. I thought it was something new. It was something, some creative for a change. I was a little worried about the storytelling too because the fact that they are basically just taking Superman and Lois away from what they know and love and putting them in Smallville. But I appreciated the whole idea of what they were going for. It wasn't like other 
TV shows where it would just do something out of the ordinary and force it. It was very, very resourceful and very well accurate for these first five episodes. And I was into it, especially when you see the fact with uh, the first pilot that Superman, he loses his job and his mother on the same day. And I thought that was very emotional. And I do love the love again. Sarah, I thought was very good. I loved Sarah here. Of course, she is really cool. And as much as I love Supergirl, I will admit there is not an overabundance of LGBTQ scenarios. Not that I have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with that at all. If you want to promote a message or something, you should do it naturally. But my big thing when it came to Supergirl in the recent seasons is that it feels like there's a little overabundance on that scenario alone. I don't think the show has went to woke. But Superman Lois here, this... I was very impressed with the way you get to care about Clark and Lois and Jonathan. Jordan, at times, I did care about him, especially in the recent episode tonight, which I won't say what happens to him. But he's also, Jordan as a character, is giving me a bit of villain vibes. So overall, I do have a some issues that could be improved as the series goes along when it returns in May. It's a very good show. It's nowhere near as great as Supergirl, for that matter. I still think Supergirl is better than Superman Lois by a complete long shot. But I will definitely say that I do prefer this over Batwoman, and I do prefer this over Stargirl. Even though I don't hate Stargirl, I do think that show has room for some major improvements. WandaVision is still going to be my number one favorite show by the end of the year, and it still is better than this. But Superman and Lois is just as good as WandaVision. But there are a few issues that I think could easily be improved. As what I just mentioned. It did some of the slow pace. Jordan could easily be improved. And give me some more sympathize with him. And... A few of the villains that we gotten so far aren't really that impressive. But overall, I very much enjoyed this show just as much as Supergirl. So that was my first impressions. I will do a full on season one review when this is over. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this. Did you like it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Are you going to continue to watch Superman Lois? Because I kind of am. And you guys keep it cool. Enjoying the epitaphs. Bye bye.